Absolutely. All they're saying is if you're nice to your local GameStop, they will sometimes, depending on the person, will go above and beyond for you. But you have six people who are regular that you notify on anything that they wanted. Also, div discounts. That's all you're saying. It's <laughs> there. You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Mm. Rich? Wanting for nothing? And calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... Cassandra. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens, I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. His mouth movement is weird. Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you the know, characters are so much more expressive in this than Skull and Bones. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsomely. Uh, let's so use a math. You get the theorems, and I get a reward from a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots. <laughs> what I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Uh, what well, do you know about Zeno's, Zeno's Paradox? Zeno's paradox. Myself excluded. <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. His work was thought destroyed, but I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. Okay. So this is going to be a quest that sends me all over the world, right? And maybe I won't do it right now. I think I've done enough side stuff. I can probably continue with the main story in a hot second. I know about the golden, about ratio. The golden ratio. I did my little skull and bones ah, ramble I want to do. Number. It's a guiding principle well, in I'll probably have more of a ramble to do about it later. I ramble a lot during it. The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a so I'll probably have more stuff come to me, like me. here as I randomly <laughs> explore around at some point. What do you know about the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem. It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale. It was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. Okay. All right. See ya. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. All right. Well, I did the uh, thing where Bob there. Let me give one dude a ninety dollar discount just to buy a system. So that's why your store is closing. Uh, as much as we love them, plus marketing. If you see a poster, you want to just ask if they're gonna throw it away or if it's company owned. If it's not, then you could have it because it's going in the garbage. So I get that kind of asking thing or Bob if there's like some promotional thing or Bob's around. But in terms of discounts and stuff, how exactly do you become a uh, GameStop friends? <laughs> oh, I should probably get this viewpoint while I'm here before I uh, before I go. It's on the shore of Laura Chris. These these things are all over the place. I'm gonna accept one of these main quests. That's what I'm gonna do, I think. Sure, do that, but I'll get this viewpoint first while I'm here. I think I'm also pretty close to uh, the Icaros perception increase. I think I just need a few viewpoints more. Enma, the real MVP, <laughs> out here looking out for people, giving them discounts and stuff. Yeah, let's go get this. Uh, let's go get this viewpoint here. That's what we better do. Also, Carvia, have you seen any of this here video game before? Of AC Odyssey, out of curiosity? So you kind of made a crazy purchase the other day. You finally got the, uh, the full aircraft PC setup going so you can play Microsoft Flight Simulator with, like, the greatest immersion ever. Bought a MetaQuest 3. Oh! Wait, I'll be friendly when you're here. If they have a nice chat without shutting you away, then it's a good person. And for the discounts, we price match. Interesting. But yeah. So what do you think of that so far, then? Are you having fun with it? Are you playing like some VR games and stuff? I've literally never even been in VR in my life. Pretty sure my cousin has like some equipment for it, but I've never tried it out before. This isn't even the highest part of this. But I'll synchronize from here, I guess. 
Also, immediately after asking the question, I kind of forgot like what this response was to because I thought it was something that followed up on your bit about MetaQuest. So I was like, wait, what's Garvey talking about? I haven't, but it looks nice. Um, she just said you ordered one. It gets here Tuesday. Okay. I'd be curious to hear what you think about it. Um, don't know if you ever saw any of my AC origin stuff, but uh, the more recent Assassin's Creed games here are essentially them being like, huh, our formula might be getting stale. Let's turn these into open world, like more traditional RPGs where you have like a, a, a EXP bar and stuff like that. I'm at level 23 right now. You get like abilities that you can unlock where you invest your ability points as you level up and become stronger. And there's some really fun abilities like the Sparza Kick is my favorite one here because it's that. It's so good. <laughs> Easily my favorite ability in the game here. Um, I guess there's a... I can upgrade it for more damage. I don't really need to upgrade it. Just 103 here is, a, is good because it's the fall that does the most damage rather than the kick itself. I don't really care about the kick damage. Um... It is an Assassin's Creed game with no assassins because Origins, which takes place later in ancient Egypt, is the game that was like the origin of the assassins and this takes place even earlier in history. So there's just no, uh, there's no assassins in this game. There's no hidden blade. You get this like spearhead instead of a hidden blade. Um, so it's set in the same universe, but it really has nothing to do with Assassin's Creed really. But it takes place in ancient Greece here and it's actually really fun. And it's the, uh, the first mainline Assassin's Creed game where you can play as a female hero throughout the whole thing. There was Syndicate where there was two siblings of Evie and Jacob that you played about half and half of each. This game gives you an avatar choice and it's the first time in the series that it's like, hey, you can just play as a female hero through the whole thing because Ubisoft just has kind of a history of thinking that female characters don't sell um, <laughs> and not really wanting to include them. I, where am I going? Argolis. I need to find that. Um, but yeah, there's a friggin' massive world in this game. I've explored like a tiny little bit of it after like, what, this is stream eight now? And a whole bunch of hours. Like, it's a chonking world here. I don't know what the max level of this game even is either. Um, but it seems like it'll go on for a decent while if I can keep on getting all these abilities and stuff. I mean, the level will probably cap out at a certain point, but still let me get like fake level ups for ability points. I assume, but yeah, there's a whole lot going on with it, and it's interesting with the objectives. The game very rarely will put actual objective markers on the map, sometimes it will. Most of the time it tells you this, where it gives you hints. So Hippocrates' clinic is in Argolis, where's Argolis? Okay, it's here. The clinic is in the northeastern part of the city of Argos. Okay, I don't think I've discovered that yet. It is south of the Bloody Oracle. Okay, I need to explore Argolis more to understand where that is in that case. So I should probably head this way because viewpoints are probably going to be cities and figure out what it is exactly that I'm doing here. So when I first heard that this game didn't really have objective markers for main quests, I was like, what? How am I supposed to find stuff? But like the hints actually really help you narrow it down and it is really cool to have kind of like the agency and feeling like you're responsible for actually finding the thing instead of the game just telling you where it is, which I think is really cool. But yeah, let's see here. Wish you could VR your way until we go full virtual like in the animes. Wait until we do that. Have I done the, oh, I haven't done location objectives here. Oh crap. Um, it's because you joked with a friend, you were like, if you get one, I'll get one. And then he actually ordered one. Ugh. And you thought about it for hours and you did it too. <laughs> nice. There's no way they actually climb up here, do they? Um, to get our money's worth, we're gonna say link start every time we use it. Nice. We got motion sickness, so much fun. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'll be curious to hear what that's like as well there. But yeah. And the abilities in this game are hella fun. Oh, I need to switch my thing or bobs. Kick is so good. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> and then, uh,. Yeah, I guess I don't know how to climb up here, which is pretty sweet. I was kind of hoping they'd climb up here and then I could uh, kick them down. Yeah, it's a it's a fun, very addicting game. I believe it came out in 2018. It was, and then 2020 was Valhalla, I think. Um, and I remember when I was taking my use of history in video games class, this was the most recent Assassin's Creed game at the time. And my professor loved this game. He, there were two games that he would talk about the most <laughs> in class. 
and those were Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Mass Effect, just like the Mass Effect series in general. He really loved Mass Effect. Ah, and I've never played Mass Effect before. But yeah, it sounded like he played a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and had a lot of hours in it. And when I was first starting this game, there were people that were coming into my stream that were like, oh yeah, this is really fun. I put in a lot of hours, but I never beat it though. Despite having like a metric shit ton of hours in it. Just because it's so fun to go around doing whatever side objective and getting EXP and getting fun new abilities and leveling up and... Wow, what an animation that is. VR Assassin's Creed 4. They actually did roll out a VR Assassin's Creed game semi recently. I don't really know anything about it. Stamp. My goodness, we get a lot of use out of this spearhead, don't we? Eagle to see where stuff is so I can complete the location. There's a captain here I need to kill? Oh, there he is. I didn't even notice him before. There's a uh, things over there, apparently. Hold on. Like, there's an objective that I'm going to, but it's just so much more fun to do this stuff along the way. See that you're completing the location objectives and then you do it and it's like location completed and then you get EXP and it's super satisfying and stuff. And can I one shot this guy? Am I high enough level? No, I can't. Well, if I critical assassinate, I can. Because screw this guy in particular, I guess. <laughs> All right. But the captain is the one I need to take out. Wait, but there's, I need this thing for the location too. So yoink. I will take that. There's a hint to track down another thing somewhere. I'll do that if I can ever be bothered. He's seeing the bodies. Oh no. If I critical assassinate him, it's not quite gonna kill him. Can I? Uh oh, that's the sound of a bounty hunter coming after me. That's not good. Will he follow me up on a roof like this so I can kick him off? Please, please. Yes, he does. Ooh, this, this fall might kill him. Get closer, get closer, please. Should I get rid of his shield? Hold on. Can I even? I can. Get that out of here! Okay. Build up some adrenaline. Actually, I'll just go ahead and use this, because that'll give me a whole bunch. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, even though it looks insanely brutal. Hold on. Ooh, and that actually sets him up almost perfectly? <laughs> oh, I didn't quite kill him with that. And I spent a decent few hours setting up my scripts that play sound effects when I hit the kick button because I think it's funny. Okay. <laughs> oh, who's this guy? Bounty hunter coming to collect a bounty on me. The Racios Hope Crusher. Well, what do you do if I uh, kick you off the roof here, Mr. Hope Crusher? No sound effect that time? All right, one more of those and he'll die. For some reason, my script doesn't always work or sometimes it's really delayed. We might just randomly get a sound effect here at some point. No, please. Fill up my adrenaline, more so for future battles. Here. Come on over here. Yeah, it was just that for a while and that's one of the sound effects that can play. It chooses like one out of 18 at random. And this is Sparta is one of them. But that, the way that I initially set up this script was as just that sound effect. And I was getting tired of hearing just that. <laughs> I was getting tired of hearing just that over and over and over again. So I decided to mix it up. So now it's a, uh, now it's like one of a great many sound effects at random. Here, I'll do this just to build like some adrenaline for some future battles here. Yoink. All right, where am I going? Hold on. Hold on. Any other things I can do along the way? There's a quest over here. There goes the neighborhood. There's a couple quests over here that I may as well accept as I go, just in case I completed the uh, location here, right? Just in case I can fulfill the objectives as I'm going along. This isn't the uh, location here, right? Like I killed the captain. This should be complete. Maybe that just doesn't count as the location and that's like the icon for the city or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm grabbing an arrow. How many arrows do I have? 20 out of 50. I need more arrows. I would like some more arrows here. Yeah, let's go accept these quests as I'm going. Also, the main story quest that I'm going towards, the story here is like, oh, there's this evil cult 
that is going after our mother that we haven't seen in like since we were a child and don't really know much about who she truly is so we're tracking down our mother before the cult does and killing the evil cult members and the main story quest that i'm slowly going towards while i'm getting distracted with all this other stuff along the way is uh on one of the leads that i have towards our mother but i'll accept a bunch of side quests along the way And now you're all caught up on the story. <laughs> told me everything. Ah, uh, glad the Oracle is alive. What happened to her when I left Delphi? I'm glad to know she's all right. As am I. But the cult of Cosmos is searching everywhere. Yeah, the cult of Cosmos is this evil group. Oh, and also our brother is like one of the head honchos of the cult. What's that guy doing? I don't give him all my earnings. You claim the reward on her head. But with my neighbor gone. Our troubles would be over. You want me to run my blade through his skull? He must be struck down with oil. Oh, what's going on with the camera? Uh, I guess I'll handle it. For the job. <laughs> Many thanks, mercenary. I'll be back when everything's taken care of. Depending on where in the world it is, did that guy just fall? There goes the neighborhood. Is it close? Is it like on the way to the th place I'm going? Uh, it's over there. I mean, what's this other quest that's like right over here? I can probably complete this one pretty fast. What does this guy want from me? Hi. What can I do to serve Sparta? I've literally been killing Spartans for the Athenians in another section of the world lately. <laughs> um, uh, I did what I had to. No, so don't take it personally when I work with Athenians as well. My regiment is finally ready to strike. What do you need? A certain Athenian commander is all that stands in our way to victory. Okay, I'll kill him. You want me to kill the Athenian commander? Uh, I don't really have any allegiance to either the Spartans or the Athenians. I just do things for whoever gives me quests to give me EXP and money. You can count I'm a traveling mercenary. Well met. Sparta thanks you. I'm just doing things for people who pay me, so... I need a hero. Okay, wait a second. This is right next to this, so I can just save some time by doing this, methinks. And then jump off, and then kill this one dudo. I'll see if this Athenian leader is nearby, in which case I'll kill him too. So, right over here, kill the soldier? Are you even a soldier? Oh yeah, you are. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, as she said, time to get paid. Uh, let's run over. Yeah, if there's like easy quests that I compl can complete along the way, why not? But yeah, that's probably why so many people have so many hours in this game, just because it's so addicting to go around doing all these things <laughs> rather than just committing to the main story. I mean, usually I don't do all the much side questing in games if I'm not specifically trying to 100% them because I'd rather stay committed to the main story, get the main bit of content done. And then by spending less time doing the side content, I can instead use that time to beat the game sooner and then move on to playing more games on this channel. But because doing these side quests gains me EXP that I needed to do at some point anyway to progress in the main story, it, this feels like it's still like a meaningful progression. Because there are some pretty high level story quests that I have that I just can't even do until I'm a high enough level to be able to realistically be able to do it, you know? So, uh... So this is a case where the uh, where the side quests and random stuff I'm doing along the way actually feels relevant because it makes progress towards my level. So it's a uh, ends up being still very satisfying. And that's probably why so many have found it so addictive. It's because like there's reason to do it past just 100%ing the game. It's contributing to your level. You're getting stronger, getting cool new abilities. You'll be able to tackle the story objectives easier when you get around to doing them. And it's just addicting. Unlike Skull and Bones, that I was about ready to literally just go to sleep at the end of, but now I'm feeling awake again because this game is actually genuinely engaging and addicting. Is a good video game. Quite like it. My biggest complaint is definitely like the in-game store microtransactions thing, Bob. I know how much money those make. So, of course, they're going to want to keep on doing it. That'd be my biggest complaint, but... Generally, I've been really liking this game. All right, what's going on here? Kill the Athenian commander. Oh, there's a whole camp here. Is this a location that I can complete? They have some war supplies and stuff. 
Oh, there's a camp up there that I can go up to next. As I slowly make my way towards where the story objective probably is here. Um. Something in the bushes here. What? Whoa! And now I can't assassinate that guy. Oh, that sucks. Um, is there a cliff that I can kick people off of here? For like some easy wins? Um, here maybe? Ooh, this looks promising. Hi, friends. Oh, that is a lot of arrows. <laughs> All right, return to the Spartan commander. I did it. I just needed to kill the commander. I don't actually need to kill any of these guys. Here, but I'm still taking your stuff while I'm here. Yoink. Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, I burned it. Yeah, this isn't a location there. I just burned that for nothing. Ugh, yoink, I'm taking your eagle helmet. What are you gonna do now that I have that, huh? What's it gonna be? All right, see you later, nerds. Thank goodness there's no fall damage. It's for everyone else but me. <laughs> Sweet. All right, I did your thing. Hope you're happy now. <laughs> Thank goodness it was the commander that immediately ran over to me to be kicked off. That was incredibly convenient. You gotta love the snake death sound. All right. All right, Mr. Spartan Dudo, I did the thing for you. What do you give me as reward? Oh, you were kind of jittery for a second there, weren't you? You again? Have you killed him? Uh, actually, gravity killed him, so well, natural God. causes. Sparta is in your debt. Here, as thanks. Happy to help. I kicked that guy so good. Oh, he actually gave me a decent bit of money for that. That's well of wood. Cool. Yeah, decent amount of EXP there. Sweet, thanks, man. Yeah, that was worth doing. Okay, so the thing where Bob here, the main story quest that I wanted to go towards, it's in Argolis. Okay, this is still just undiscovered location. Um, so yeah, this is Argolis here. Clinic is in the northeastern part of the city of Argos. So I don't know if this is the city of Argos. I'll find out when I get there. South of the Bloody Oracle. It is possible that the city might be over here. This seems like a lot more hilly. So I assume the city of Argos is probably this. I want to mark things to do along the way, though. <laughs> As one does when you're playing this game. You mark all the things that are convenient to do along the way, because why not? It's the rule. Where's my horse? Come here, you. Up we go. There's a bounty hunter near me? Oh, I guess here on the map? Above? Where? What? Like, way up on that cliff? Are they at the location that I'm going to? Hmm. All right, back. So, yeah, you want to wait for something. While you wait for something, you want to double check with you what happens on the Valentine's Day thing with Persona 5 Royal. If it's possible, get rank 10 confidant without roman... Roman... Ah! Roma romancing someone. Why can't I say that? What the heck? It's like Plankton trying to say, uh... What? Fun does he struggle to say? I don't remember if he struggles to say that in that episode. I know he struggles to say thanks. I don't know what I'm just popping into my head right now. Uh, yeah, you can get to rank 10. Like, you can just turn down, like, the character's romantic advances in Persona 5 and still get them to rank 10. Um, and what happens on Valentine's Day is just, like, you go out with whoever you're seeing if you, uh, did decide to romance someone. Or if you're romancing multiple people, then they find out and they all kind of hate you for it. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's a bounty hunter somewhere around here that wants to kill me? Hmm? Oh, there's a little camp there, too. Okay, so there's a decent few things to do here. There's cultist guards. Oh. So the cult is involved with this area. Huh? huh? Oh, you heard nothing. <laughs> that guy's going back about his business. Looks like it was nothing. Looks like it was nothing. Oh, these are cultist guards right in the ass. And that guy's on his way now. Cool. All right, sweet. You link. So you didn't get to rank nine with the clink lay and avoid the romance dialogue first. Is you just want to get the rank ten bonus? Yeah. You uh. And there's one person that you want to romance in that game. That means that there's still a lot of people that you have to turn down. Everyone seems to really like Joker. In that game. So. Yeah, kill captains. Now it's gonna be that guy. Is that a cultist guard as well? Is there another bush that I can come into closer? Is this guy gonna come back? What happens if I meditate? 
on an enemy zone. If I just exit it, barely, and they start going to sleep. I'm just curious here. Well, that changed their patterns, their schedule enough here that makes this advantageous for me. It looks like it does. This guy's chilling out over here now, which is kind of where I want him to be. Hasn't noticed that one of his friendos is just gone. Oh, I probably won't be able to one-shot him. Hmm, did someone just tickle me? He's probably wondering. Tsh. Okay, uh... Be nice if there was a cliff that I could kick some of you guys off of. Whoa, I'm surprised that didn't count as too early. Okay. Whoa, they're still hitting me. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, too bad my assassinations do as little damage as they do. Okay, uh... I would very much love to have a, uh cliff to kick people off of around here and maybe I can find one if I look hard enough maybe and I think I can only grab this while I'm anonymous yeah out of curiosity oh this looks like a cliff oh this is totally a cliff oh hell yeah here's where I make my stand okay nice shot too bad my kicks on cooldown. Can I still knock you off? Well, why'd I start attacking the other way? So long, Bowser. What was that falling? Okay. Holy crap. Holy crap. Get me out of there. For safety's sake. Jeez, that was close. That guy's still not dead. Holy crap. There we go. Okay, change targets. <laughs> okay, um... Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, what was I doing here again? Alright, killed all the cultist guards. Stealth gameplay. Nobody can see you if there's nobody to see you. Wait, what? <laughs> well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? All right, let's go do this location now. That was pretty fun.